What's up folks, Eric Nye here. I figured there'd be a lot of newcomers to one of the best remakes ever made, Shadow of the Colossus. So I wanted to share a bit of knowledge, uh, some things the game doesn't necessarily explain to you. You're playing this tiny little idiot who brought a sword to a skyscraper fight, so these tips should provide you with a bit more of an advantage against those wicked, huge, hairy stone boys. So let's get right into it. First off, you're gonna find yourself running out of stamina on some of these colossi and falling off. How do you counteract that? <laughs> well, obviously eating lizard tails. At all of the save areas that look like this, you'll find lizards with white tails running around, usually on the structure itself. Shoot them with an arrow or slash at them and they'll drop their white tail, which you can then eat with R2, to increase your maximum stamina. If you have a hard time finding one, keep in mind the white-tailed lizards make a different noise than other lizards when they're moving around. It goes a little something like this. You can also increase your maximum health. Some of the trees on the map have fruit you can shoot down and eat the same way you do with lizards, except they don't taste nearly as good as those sweet, succulent lizard tails. Usually the trees with fruit in them are a bit larger and have thicker trunks than the other trees, and often have vines growing around them. Let's be honest, controlling aggro is like trying to give a driving test to a small child that recently consumed a six-pack of Four Loco. He speeds up, slows down, turns, stops, all when you don't want him to. Literally, all the game tells you is to press X to horse. The truth is, there are a multitude of ways to make controlling aggro easier. The one I find most useful is to get aggro going at full speed and then just hold down X. He'll keep his speed and you can continue turning without anything weird happening. If you want to know more of the tricks uh, to controlling aggro, check out the link in the description. A few of these colossi can be somewhat annoying to try and find in the first place. To save yourself the trouble of feeling like the protagonist of Castaway, pay close attention to when Dorman is talking to you. It'll provide subtle clues as to the whereabouts of the next enemy. Cracked areas of bosses are typically there as part of the puzzle or to get you closer to the actual weak spot. They are not weak spots. This might be obvious to some of you, but I definitely had some issues the first time I played this game on PS2. And we can't all be fucking geniuses. Last but not least, swimming. Look at this. Look at this guy. This is the look of someone who's lied on their entire resume. He looks like a cockroach that's just been black flagged. And he's slow as hell. But the weirdest thing? If you hold R2 and dive underwater, he's suddenly 28-time Olympic medalist Michael Phelps and moves a lot faster. This definitely comes in handy in specific parts of the game where you're in the water at all. Just be sure to keep an eye on your gauges and don't run out of breath. Be sure to like and subscribe if this video helped, or dislike it and mutter what an asshat to yourself if it didn't. I love getting suggestions and corrections from people, so don't hesitate to let me know in the comments if there was something else you think I should have included. Thanks for watching, see you next time.